Hi guys, Rustin here and welcome to another FL Studio tutorial and today I will uh, show you guys how you can make your progressive trance chords sound a little bit better and sound like the professional trance, trance professional progressive house uh, tracks so uh, of course you start off with a nice melody or lead or whatever you want to call it so Oh, great. Um, my Steam is still on. Oh, whatever. Um, so, in my case, it's this pattern, and I will show you guys. Here he goes. What the heck? Come on. Oh, great. Pattern. <laughs> So that's my pattern right now. Um, of course, you can play a little bit with the different sounds and that kind of stuff. I use Nexus right now. Um, so okay, we got a we got a chords. Be sure you put it in the mixer. In my case, it's in uh, slot one. And then we take a kick, four steps. Um, put it on loop of course for now and the kick we put in slot 2 of the mixer uh, we give the kick a P controller be sure it's muted the TNS a little bit up and you can close the P controller now uh, be sure you're still selecting the, the slot of your uh, kick right click on the slider of the slot where your uh, chords are uh, placed in my case it's slot 1 so right click on the slider link to controller and you get this menu uh, in internal controller you press you select a P control insert 2 so slot 2 in my case uh, peak plus LFO and in front of input you type 0 0.8 and a stripe accept and this is what you get right now of course if you want to make it make the side chain a bit stronger you can um put up the pull up the volume of your uh, sidechain kick so if you put it on uh on the loudest volume or the nah you know what i mean you get this you hear the sidechain is a bit stronger so in this case it's okay if you do it like this um So those are the house chords, and let's put it two times in our playlist. We select it. I like to use the cutoff in the cutoff filter in Nexus in this in the house tracks. Uh, browse parameters. Um, let's see where it is. Oh my God! Come on. Here, F mod cut. Create an automation clip of that. Um, put this down. This one up. Deselect it. Uh, take a nice kick. Put the kick in. Uh, why not take a, a loop also? Slow the volume a bit. Um, and of course a sweep. So 
So this is what I got right now. You see, that's uh, it's really simple. You are, the only thing you have to do is make, of course, some nice chords and um, just side chain it. So I hope you guys learned something today. And if you want to see more of these tutorials, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope to see you guys next time. See you guys. Bye.